Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Did you know that dementia affects over 55 million people worldwide and that number is expected to triple by 2050. But here is a good news. While we cannot always stop it, there are steps we can take to lower our risk. In the next few minutes, we will discuss what dementia really is, its main causes and practical preventive measures you can start today. Let's get started. First thing, what is dementia? Dementia isn't a single disease. It's an umbrella term used to describe group of symptoms affecting memory, thinking and social abilities, severely enough to interfere our daily life. What are the symptoms? It is not just memory loss, but it includes confusion, difficulty with tasks and changes in mood or personality. It's like your brain's filling system getting jumbled, making it hard to access memories or make decisions. Here are 10 common symptoms of dementia. Number 1. Memory loss that disrupts daily life. Number 2. Difficulty in planning or solving problems. Number 3. Trouble completing familiar tasks. Number 4. Confusion with time or place. Number 5. Trouble understanding visual images or special relationships. Number 6. Problems with words in speaking or writing. Number 7. Misplacing things and losing the ability to retrace steps. Number 8. Poor judgment or decision making. Number 9. Withdrawal from work or social activities. And number 10. Mood or personality changes. In short, dementia isn't a normal part of aging. It is caused by damage to brain cells and their connections. Well, everyone forgets things now and then. But with dementia, it's more frequent, more severe and it impacts daily lives. Remember, early detection is the key don't ignore the signs. Now let's discuss types of dementia. There are several types of dementia but the most common include number one Alzheimer's disease about 60 to 70 percentage of cases belong to this. Number two vascular dementia caused by reduced blood flow to the brain. Number three Levy body dementia associated with abnormal protein deposits in the brain and number four frontotemporal dementia affects behavior and language. Now let's talk about causes. As already stated, it is caused by damage to the brain cells. This damage interferes with the brain cells ability to communicate with each other, affecting behavior, emotions and even the ability to perform everyday tasks. Dementia results from various factors that damage the brain. These are number 1. The biggest risk factor is age. Your chances increases after 65 but it's not inevitable. Even younger people can get it and here it is called early onset dementia which can begin as early as in your 40s or 50s. Number 2 Genetics plays a role. If a close family member had it, your risk might be higher especially with rare genes linked to early onset of Alzheimer's. Number 3 Conditions like Down syndrome also raise the odds due to extra chromosome affecting brain proteins. Number 4 Vascular issues are huge culprits. High blood pressure, high cholesterol and diabetes can damage blood vessels leading to vascular dementia. Think of it as mini strokes starving brain cells of oxygen. Number 5. Smoking and excessive alcohol speed this up by harming arteries and causing inflammation. Number 6. Traumatic brain injuries from falls or sports can trigger dementia years later as seen in some athletes with chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Other causes include infections like HIV or syphilis that affect the brain, nutritional deficiencies such as low vitamin B12, or even build up of fluid in the brain called normal pressure hydrocephalus. And in rare cases, brain tumors or metabolic imbalances like thyroid issues can mimic or cause dementia symptoms. Remember, many dementias are mixed, like Alzheimer's combined with vascular problems. Okay, that sounds serious, but let's discuss about prevention. While we cannot eliminate all the risks, research shows up to 40% of dementia cases might be preventable through lifestyle changes. Here are 14 steps. Number 1. Start with your heart. What is good for it is good for your brain. Manage blood pressure, cholesterol and diabetes with regular checkups and medications if needed. Number 2. Aim for a healthy weight to avoid obesity stall on brain health. Number 3. Eat smart. Follow a Mediterranean diet rich in fruits, veggies, whole grains, fish, nuts and olive oil. It could slash dementia risk by 30% or more. Number 4. Limit processed foods, sugars and saturated fats to limit the inflammation. Number 5. Keep yourself hydrated which matters a lot. So drink plenty of water. Number 6. Get moving. At least 150 minutes of moderate exercise weekly 
like walking, swimming or dancing, it boosts blood flow to the brain and grows new cells. Number 7. Challenge your mind. Learn a new language, play instruments, solve puzzles or read books. These build cognitive reserve. Number 8. Stay social. Remember loneliness increases the risk. So join the clubs or volunteer in social services. Number 9. Quit smoking if you do. It damages vessels and raises dementia odds by 30%. Remember 30%. Number 10. Limit alcohol to no more than 14 units a week. Excess harms brain cells. Number 11. Protect your head. Wear helmets during sports or biking to prevent injuries. Number 12. Address hearing loss with AIDS. If left untreated, it strains the brain. Number 13. Manage stress through meditation or yoga. And lastly, number 14. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep nightly. Finally, how to live with dementia. If you or a loved one is living with dementia, you are not alone. There are measures and it includes Number 1. Create routines Number 2. Simplify tasks Number 3. Use reminders or memory aids Number 4. Be patient and offer emotional support to the patient Number 5. Consider professional care when needed Number 6. Support groups, counselling and community resources can make a huge difference for both patients and caregivers. Remember, dementia is a complex, challenging condition but with awareness, compassion and action, we can improve lives and support those affected. That's it. To wrap up, dementia stems from brain damage influenced by age, genetics, health conditions and lifestyle. But by eating well, staying active physically and mentally, managing health risks and protecting your brain, you can significantly lower your chances. Start small today and your future self will thank you. If you or a loved one show sign, consult a doctor early. Like and subscribe for more such health insights and share your prevention stories in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.